Hi, I'm going to demo how OpenFGA modular models work. So authorization is application specific. So if you're working in a company where multiple teams own different components, you want e each of those teams to define their own authorization policies. So modular models is a solution for that problem. So let's assume we have a product that has two different components, an issue tracker system and a, and a wiki system, right? And we also have another team that owns the core authorization components. In this case, could be, for example, types like uh, organizations and groups, right? So it could be the core IAM team owns this, and then you have a team that owns a wiki, and then a, a team that owns an issue tracker system, okay? So the idea is that each team is going to define their own module. In this case, we have the core module for that core IAM team, a wiki module that defines spaces and pages, and, and you, you see here that I can also extend a type that lives in the core module. So we are adding a can create a space uh, relationship at the organization level from another module. And then the, in the issue tracker folder, we have two files that have the same module name. And the idea here is that you can have a team that owns a model that is very big and you want to split that model in multiple files, that module in multiple files, you, you can do that. Right? So the idea here is that you're composing a single model based with these modules. And, and we have this manifest file, which is the fga.mol, that links all the, all the FGA modules that will uh, uh, be composed to create this single model. So for example, you see we have things here, like uh, we have the user type defined in the, in the core FGA, and here we are validating that, that that type exists. So if I kind of change this name, I, I get an error. Right? So we are using all the types in all the modules to do validation in Visual Studio. You can also define one of these fga.yaml file that we use for testing. In this case, we are pointing to the fga mod file and we have defined tuples that can be for any of the, of the modules and then tests that can cover any of the modules. I cannot write fga model test tests and point to that file uh, and it will execute, right? So I have an open FGA running here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create a store in, in FGA using this model. So I can do that by saying FGA store create and send model fga.mod. So I do this and I get here the store ID that it was created. So I can now do, do export fga store e equals this. So I keep it available for the CLI. And now if I do uh, fga model get, I'm gonna get the model for that store. And if you see what fga did is it combined all the, all the modules in a single model. And when we uh, get the model from OpenMGA, we get where, as comments, where it's coming from, okay? And, uh, but conceptually, this is a single, a single model. Now we can also uh, get it in JSON. And you see that in the JSON file, we have metadata that describes where this each type is coming from, right? So this type is coming from the issue tracker module using this file. We can use this to reconstruct the model if we want, the different modules if we want, or also to um, for to use tooling if you want to have modules into account for any kind of validation, authorization that you might want to do. And so the idea here is that when you put this in, in GitHub, you're going to have a code owner's file or the equivalent of uh, in your authorization in your source control system that will uh, give permissions to specific team members to approve pull requests that target each module, right? So the idea is that each, each team manages their own components and you can, and they approve pull requests that's gonna change the module for their own part of the application. Perfect, this is how uh, modular models work. Let us know if you have any feedback about it.